In the UK, six million people experience sounds for which there's no external source. These people have tinnitus. The symptoms of tinnitus are often described as ringing, buzzing or whistling sounds that are perceived within the ears or the head. However, it's not the ear that's responsible. Instead, the causes for tinnitus can be found in the brain. The brain is made up of a huge number of active nerve areas, which all have different roles. Sound information is processed via a very specific brain area known as the auditory cortex. The auditory cortex is divided up into areas that are responsible for processing different pitches in a similar way in which keys would be arranged on a piano. Anything which causes us to lose our hearing can have the effect of disrupting this internal keyboard. This could be caused by medication, loud noises, or just the natural aging process. Due to this disruption, there's a reduction of activity in the keyboard areas affected by hearing loss, and the nerves that make up the area can start to fire spontaneously. This is called neural synchronization. Or to put it another way, if the ear no longer talks to the auditory centre, then the nerve cells in the auditory centre begin to chatter in an overactive and unregulated way. It's this abnormal overactivity which causes us to perceive the tinnitus signal. Over time, this abnormal activity becomes permanent. Modern imaging procedures enable us to see evidence of the abnormal neural synchrony within the auditory part of the brain. This abnormal neural synchrony doesn't remain limited to the auditory center. Brainwave measurements have shown that brain areas regulating attention, emotions and stress are also affected. The faulty signals in all these areas together allow the tinnitus tone to invade into our consciousness. This interaction of brain areas influences the individual level of distress and anxiety experienced by each person, as well as the perceived volume and invasiveness of the tinnitus. Now, with the help of the Tinnitus Clinic, Patients in the UK can look forward to a future where something other than tinnitus is the focus of their day.